the Americas on a map of the globe 1500 years before Christopher Columbus. On this global map, the existence of North America, including Canada, Central, South America, and the Caribbean is acknowledged by the ancient or the classical Greeks. This video is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. Universal Center for Renovation presents historical and biblical Israelites. The Americas on a map of the globe 1500 years before Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus is accredited for the discovery of the Americas, which is commonly known as the New World. But biblical and secular history has painted a different story than the one that is given to us by mainstream media. Christopher Columbus, born between August 25th and October 31st, 1451, and died May 20th, 1506, was an Italian explorer and navigator from the Republic of Genoa, who completed four Spanish-based voyages across the Atlantic Ocean sponsored by the Catholic monarchs, opening the way for the widespread European exploration and European colonizations of the Americas. His expeditions were the first known European contact with the Caribbean and Central and South America. This is the mainstream narrative of Christopher Columbus in the exploration and in colonizations of the Americas by Europeans. But is there evidence contrary to this mainstream narrative? And basically the answer is yes. And this narrative the words were carefully chosen. His expeditions were the first known European contact with the Caribbean and Central and South America. But what about the not so well known contacts of Europeans and Near Eastern navigators to the New World or to the Americas? So, Christopher Columbus' voyages to the New World were known and famous, for they were definitely not the first voyages of Europeans or Near Easterners to the Americas. No Flat Earth, a 2,000 year old map proves the ancient and classical historians knew the correct shape of the earth, the six continents, and the seven seas. Part two. An earth globe is a spherical model of earth with a similar use to maps, but without the distortions Except to scale it down, the Greeks from 3rd century BC knew Earth is a sphere, and the earliest globe appeared from that period. 
flat earthers take the appearance of a globe before NASA existed as a sign of misconduct. They incorrectly claim it is impossible to know spherical Earth before their first space flight. In reality, we knew spherical Earth since 3rd century BC and globes were already common far before space flight. The image of the globe in the year 2024 AD and an image of the globe in the year 150 BC. Clearly, 1500 years before Christopher Columbus. And on this globe, we can see the Americas, Europe, Africa, and Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. 1500 years before Columbus. A hundred and fifty BC, and this is the globe of Cades of Melis, and he was a second century BC grammarian and Stoic philosopher, leader of the literary school, and head of the library of Pergamum. And this map was made during the Greek rule of Judea by the Seleucid Empire of Syria in around the time of the Maccabean Revolt. This would be the Greek captivity of the Jews. And if we compare this 2,000 year old map or globe of the spherical earth with a map in the year 2024, the comparisons are completely the same. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Australia is located on the globe of Crates. First, we can see Ecumene or Oikumene, also known as the inhabited world, which includes three continents, Africa, Europe, and Asia. And from this map, from Herodotus, the father of Greek history, we can clearly see the lands of Ecumene or Acumene, the inhabited world, Europe, Libya, known today as Africa, but in the Greek period as Libya, and Asia, including in this map, as we later shall see, China. And this geographical map gives us a clear idea of the Asian region of Ecumene or the inhabited world. And now we come to the region known as North Central and South America, the Americas, or known to the ancient Greeks as Peruasi, meaning those dwelling around, nearby, around, around the other place of the earth, those dwelling around, nearby, from the Greek, Perinikos, the Americas, North, Central, and South America, including Canada and the Caribbean. Ecumene, or Oikumene, the inhabited world, three continents, 
Africa, Europe, and Asia. Now, we turn to the region known as Antipodes, meaning anti, opposite, impuls, meaning foot, Antipodes, Australia, New Zealand, the Pacific Ocean, Antipodes, opposite, and last, but not least, Antoasi, from the Greek, Antikoi, dwellers opposite, Antarctica. And for those who are well acquainted with the writings and the records of the Hebrews, will know that they, the Israelites, the Jews, the Hebrews, were well acquainted with the shape of the globe and the continents and the seven seas. From the King James Version Bible 1611 and the Torah Scrolls. And this can be confirmed in 2nd Esdras chapter 6 verse 42 when reflecting upon the creation of the earth. Upon the third day thou didst command the waters should be gathered in the seventh part of the earth, the seven seas. Six parts the continents has Thou dried up and kept them to the attend that of these, some being planted of God and tilled, might serve thee. So this is a reflection upon the six continents and the seven seas. The waters should be gathered in the seventh part of the seven seas. Six parts hast thou dried up the six continents. So the Hebrews who traveled the world, especially during the days of King Solomon, were well acquainted with the Americas before Christopher Columbus. Parosi, the name of the Americas to the Greeks, Ophir, the name of the Americas to the Israelites. First Kings, chapter 29, verse 26 to 28. And King Solomon made a navy of ships in Ezon Geber, which is beside Eloth. On the shore of the Red Sea, in the land of Edom, and Hiram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the seas, knowledge of the seven seas, with the servants of Solomon. And they came to Ophir, the America, the Americas. Perosi to the Greeks and fetched from thence gold 420 talents and brought it to King Solomon who lived in Judea. So they went to the Americas to fetch certain resources and bring them back to the Near East, Middle East, to King Solomon. Perosi the Americas, Ophir, the Americas. A Phoenician ship. The kind of ship or the type of ship that was in King Solomon's navy that sailed from the land of Israel, Palestine, to the Americas.
King Solomon's navy sailed the world. They sailed the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, the North Atlantic. They went around Africa, sailed the Southern China Sea, sailed to Malaysia, India. The Israelites were well acquainted with the geography of the world before Columbus 